Rice farmers will soon grow hybrid rice developed and bred in Kenya. The new hybrid rice can be grown away from rivers and lake basins where flood irrigation sustains production. The new variety requires minimum water and uh, this will, was actually developed by the African Agricultural Technology Foundation and partners can be grown under normal rainfall conditions as those of other crops like maize, beans, millet, wheat, among others. Here's more on the next frontier. For many years, maize has been Kenya's staple food. This may not be the case in the future because rice is increasingly becoming popular among Kenyans. Kenyans are now turning to rice and other foods because maize production has gone down and rarely meets demand. Rice, as you know, is becoming uh, a crop of strategic and economic importance in Africa. We have a deficiency of about 12 million metric tons. The introduction of the new rice varieties, which is on the final stages of trial at the Kisumu Research Center, can withstand low concentration of moisture in the soil to do well like off-the-water growing crops. The aim of producing hybrid is to increase food security and stop importation of rice from outside Africa. We spent about 5 billion USD on the importation of rice, which is a lot of lost of forex for Africa. These researchers now say adaptable climate change tolerant crops are part of the solution to the African challenge, especially food shortage. The hybrid is good in yields. It is expected to yield up to 1.6 tons per hectare against the current 0.9 tons per hectare produced in Africa. Rice is the second most popular food after maize in Kenya, but its cultivation is limited to the lake basin, like Moya and Lake Victoria, which grows in flood areas. This hybrid rice is showing uh, the farmers preferred traits. That is basically the wrong grains, the basmati type. The hybrid promises to increase cultivation of the crop to elevated areas, a factor that will increase the total output of the crop for food security and commercialization. Santis now say the rice variety consumes about two and a half times the water required by wheat. We have quite a number of varieties that are early maturing within 120 days. Compared to the traditional varieties that mature within 140 days to 170 days. Kenyan farmers who usually rely on erratic rains to grow staples could soon find a respite to endemic food security linked to erratic weather patterns thanks to the introduction of the new rice hybrid that requires minimum water to grow. In most cases, farmers lack high-yielding varieties and the ones that are tolerant to uh, drought because our area or most of our agroecological zones are prone to uh, water deficit. Kenya is looking at introducing 15 high-yielding locally developed rice varieties that once commercialized could drastically reduce the country's importation requirements. This is the first hybrid rice produced in Africa by Africans and for the African population. Philip Keitang for The Next Frontier.